Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. If you're brand new around here and this is your first time watching, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. Now today I wanted to tell you more about my story and how I overcame my own childhood trauma. And now today I coach one-on-one -on -one with beautiful women from around the world. Like that just is crazy to me. Work with beautiful women around the world and I take them on a magical adventure for eight weeks. I help them to reprogram their subconscious mind, to rebalance the energy centers within their body, and then to reconnect their body, their mind, and soul into vibrational alignment so they become an unstoppable force. You know that song from um, Carrie Underwood, Champion? It's like that kind of energy. Now, there is a lot involved in all of that. If you want to find out more, I have testimonials on my YouTube channel or on my website. But today I wanted to strip things back and to really get into like, how did I even get to this stage? Because it wasn't just one day I woke up, I'm like, oh, you know, you know when um, parents say to children, it's like, what do you want to be when you grow up? No one ever says they want to be a childhood trauma healer. <laughs> so there's a lot going on, but I really want to take you on this, this journey to give you this glimpse of hope and show that if I can overcome everything that I have on this journey that you're going to find out about very, very shortly, then you can too. You know, there's no difference between you and I. Anything is possible. Whatever the reason is that you're sitting in front of your computer or your phone right now watching this, it's divinely orchestrated. There is a reason. So just take from this what feels best for you. And at the end, if you feel like you're somebody that wants to take it to the next step and learn how you can get the results for yourself, I'll give you all of that at the end. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Now to help you understand why I'm so ridiculously passionate about helping my clients heal and manifest unconditional inner freedom, let's start at the beginning of my story. As I connected the dots looking back, I realized that the emotional and physical abuse I experienced in my childhood stemmed from generations of abuse that my parents repeated. I'm forever grateful for my parents as they unconsciously taught me the power of healthy communication, the importance of releasing pain, and self-love. I know that my parents literally did the best that they could with the knowledge and understanding that they had at the time. At 18 years old, emotional abuse showed up for the first time in a four-year toxic relationship, which heavily impacted my self-esteem to the point where I actually believed I was a useless piece of shit. After a divine intervention, that chapter was finally over. What happened next was the start of a six year journey of healing and self-discovery, one of which that I'm still on today and will continue to fine tune for the rest of my life. The biggest lessons I've learned is that when we stop progressing, we stagnate. That's what happened to me, but that was all about to change. Soon after that, I got a five month contract on a cruise ship. I was working 75 hours a week, sleep deprived, ate the worst food I'd ever eaten in my whole entire life. So to counter out that in order to feel some semblance of being human or having control over my life, I went back to partying a lot and another toxic relationship thrown in for good measure. But then something unusual happened. I met the first guy to have ever treated me with respect. I literally remember saying to myself, why is he being so nice to me? Why does he want to spend so much time with me? It was like this behavior was unfamiliar. That relationship was short lived, but it was the glimpse of hope that I needed to spark a change within me. Perhaps there was another way. Perhaps life really could be different. Maybe it could be like the movies. I was curious and ridiculously confused all at the same time. I thought to myself, what other areas of my life have I been blindly following that I could change? When I got back to Australia, I literally lost count of the amount of people that I knew who had suffered from cancer or had passed. I felt suffocated by this mass epidemic and didn't want to become another statistic. So I took it upon myself and became my own doctor. I eliminated processed foods, adopted a whole food plant-based diet, all whilst documenting my progress over my YouTube channel, which today has over 1.4 million views. 
I was blown away by the results, which included sustained weight loss, improved digestion, brighter eye color, increased energy levels, glowing skin, regular bowel movements, and feeling so much happier. I felt confidence in my skin that I hadn't experienced since I was a child. And you know what? Life was looking up. At this time, I was working in child protection and witnessed firsthand the sheer devastation of what it's actually like to be a child in foster care. I specialize with teenagers with highly complex needs in crisis intervention and learned pretty quickly that these kids were all screaming out for love. A love that actually was unattainable. They were seeking the love from their parents. This literally broke my heart to see them spiraling out of control. So I taught them all that I knew strategies and tools on how to love themselves. The results were instantaneous and I saw glimpses of these beautiful souls that were buried deep under layers and layers of trauma. When I left, they reverted to old habits because they didn't have the strategies or tools in place to sustain it long term. I knew that this was actually something that I needed to share with the world. While at this stage I had regained control over my physical body in terms of diet, nutrition and exercise, I also had come to discover that this was only the tip of the iceberg when it came to developing unconditional inner freedom. The biggest part was the inside work, the mind and the soul level. Now, this is when things went to the next level for me. Over the next few years of healing, I began reprogramming my mind with higher vibrational thoughts, learning about the law of attraction, astrology, meditation. I actually work with a master healer in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. I began to understand the interconnectedness of the body, the mind, and the soul. Now, fast forward to 2015, I experienced a spiritual awakening, which opened up my spiritual channels and to this day allows me to communicate with the angelic and spirit realm as a clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant and a medium. Honestly, it's what I consider to be my special gift and what's helped to fast track my own progress and why I started the YouTube series Weekly Angel Guidance, which became a massive success to the point where I had over 140 people email me asking for readings. And then that's when I launched my first tarot reading business in 2016. Six months prior to moving to the Gold Coast, my angels told me that this is where I was going to meet my husband. So I literally packed up my house and moved. Well, naturally, of course. <laughs> so within three months of living there, Peter, which is my now gorgeous husband, literally walked through my front door and that scared the absolute bejesus out of me. He was the most beautiful soul I had ever met. We had this instantaneous connection and it was literally like we had known each other in another life. Now, in January 8th, 2016, this is when we officially marked the beginning of our love story, and it just was like a Disney movie, like no joke, I'm talking, he came to the airport, went up the escalator, declared his love for me, like it was perfect. However, Peter mirrored to me a lot of my blockages, which I hadn't yet healed. Blockages that I couldn't see by myself, but only could see through a partnership. Now, the childhood trauma that I experienced meant that I had a lot of trouble learning how to receive pure love. Once I healed those blockages, it made me so much stronger. This actually resulted in me getting a brand new heart, not literally, of course, but rather the one where you could receive love openly, knowing it is my divine right and that I deserve it because I exist. Anyone who's read anything from Louise L. Hay will know what I mean. Now, fast forward to February 8th, 2019 at sunrise, I eloped and married the man of my dream, my best friend, my cup of tea maker, and together we continue to manifest a million dreams in sync with Mama Moon. Today, I am blessed to say that I work with the most beautiful women around the globe. Together, we work to heal the emotional pain from their childhood trauma so that they can break the cycle of abuse in their family and manifest unconditional inner freedom every single day and with certainty. Now, to be brutally honest, if you don't release your childhood trauma, it's going to have a hold over you for the rest of your life. 
It'll block any chance of you manifesting your dream life, which tends to show up as triggers of self-sabotage, which I actually like to refer to as the fear junkie. Now, these are people who begin to make progress, then lose consistency when the fear of facing their story becomes all too much. Now, let's be real. You know that this is your year, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. This is the rebirth of that new fabulous you that you always knew existed. Get ready because it is showtime. Well, my love, thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly hope that if you're someone who has suffered with childhood trauma, that it's given you the courage to be like, I am where I am and it's okay. And just knowing that you have the power to change your life. I always say this, your childhood trauma was not your fault, but healing is your responsibility. If you want to find out more, it's linked in the description, my free 20 minute video. It's melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training. Go and check that out if that floats your boat. If not, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you soon. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.